I had less than two hours of sleep last night. My head feels like it's in a vice grip. The, the last two videos I just made, you know, that, that should concern people. You've got a brain, a brain patient, a person with a brain disease, KRE malformation, who's fighting for their life, critically sleep deprived, who weaned off of 40 years of benzodiazepines and zopaclone. Nobody could diagnose that. Nobody, no doctor knew how to help me. I was literally fighting for my life. I was awake 22 or 23 hours a day, a brain patient in acute life-threatening medication withdrawal. And nobody was in charge. The brain patient that was sleeping literally one or two hours every 24 hours was in charge of all of this. There was no advocacy. There is no advocacy. You got a brain patient in acute medication withdrawal, like out of their minds, out of their mind, fighting for their life, fighting for medical advocacy, fighting for medical care, fighting for CPAP, fighting to get diagnosed with severe sleep apnea, life-threatening sleep apnea, fighting for my life in acute medication withdrawal. Nobody believed that I was in acute medication withdrawal. Weaning off of like five sleeping pills. No doctor could recognize or diagnose acute medication withdrawal. No doctor knew how to manage it. I was stopping breathing nonstop. I was stopping breathing during the day. My throat was closing. My diaphragm was stopping. I have evidence my heart rate went down to 18 beats per minute. 29 beats per minute with, with medical equipment owned by the health authority. Heart rate going down to 18 beats per minute. Oxygen going down to 70 at home. Literally fighting for my life. The ER couldn't help me. The ER would turn me away. No, nobody believed what was happening. Nobody could uh, diagnose acute medication withdrawal. Nobody believed that I had life-threatening sleep apnea. I was out of my mind. And I was being threatened. I was being threatened by doctors with psych. I was being threatened to shut up and stop asking for help. A brain patient fighting for their life. Not sleeping. Everybody thinking that I was crazy. I managed to get off of those medications alive. And I'm still fighting for my life. And I had less than two hours of sleep last night. I'm a brain, I'm a brain patient here in crisis. And there are no resources for me. There's nowhere I can turn. I have a new family doctor who said he sent some referrals out to see another brain surgeon. I don't know if that's been done or not. I've seen three brain surgeons already. I've sat in front of a brain surgeon with zero sleep. I've sat in front of a brain surgeon with one hour of sleep. 
trying to advocate for myself, which is insane, insane that a patient with a brain disease that's fighting for their life has no advocacy, no one to speak on their behalf, no one to fight for them to get the help they need, and no one to protect them. And, and no help in my home. No one to, to, to protect me because I'm vulnerable. This is Canada. This is shocking. This is unspeakable. What's all happened here? This is shocking. I am so severely traumatized by doctors by all of this medical trauma and and I have no help. I still have no help in my home. I have no help. And there's nowhere for me to turn to for support. No one has has asked me my symptoms from day to day, from week to week, from month to month. Nobody's been in charge. A brain patient completely out of their minds fighting for their life, fighting this health care system to try to obtain health care, and begging and fighting for advocacy. And there's no advocacy. There's no one to protect a brain disease patient here. There's no one to protect a patient in medical crisis, in a crisis situation in their house. financial there there were there were free checks there were free checks from the province for covid i i missed out on all of that cuz i'm too sick to get my income tax done there was nowhere for me to turn to for help i i i i made all sorts of calls who can help me i can't get around i can't get around my city so i the the sickest people out there are missing out on on, on that kind of help, like like a couple of free checks I had to miss out on because I, I can't get my income tax done. There is no help for, for people here. There's no advocacy. There's no medical advocacy or protection. If you're too sick, if you're not smart enough, if you're out of your mind because you're so ill, too bad. There's no help here. How can, how is this possible? 